The story of engineers and planners started as far back as 1997 when a young man conceived the idea of setting up a heavy duty equipment rental company. We started like a small rental company and we've now become a big mining construction company where we are actually working now in about four different mines. Today, the company has grown in leaps and bounds with an asset base of more than 100 million US dollars. The growth by leaps and bounds is because he works hard, he and the team. I think that sense of hard work and the competitive spirit. Our services portfolio include mining, drill and blast, load and haul, rehandling of ore, tailings dam construction, leach pad construction, civil and earthworks, dewatering, exploration and grid control. As you can see, we are standing at our in Poho site, that belongs to GSR. We have Takwa site, that is for Gold Force Ghana Limited, and Damai site, which is also to belongs to Gold Force Ghana Limited. And outside the country, we have um, Yakepa, which belongs to Asilo Metal, that is in Liberia. In Impoho, in the western region of Ghana, we are executing a mining contract for Golden Star Resources on their satellite concessions located within the Hunibutre Benso enclave. The contract involves drilling, blasting, and haulage of ore. Drilling and blasting is undertaken on a daily basis except Sundays by the Drill and Blast Unit of EMP. The first pit, the Adoyokrom pit, has been closed after successful mining operations. Since April 2011, work has been progressing steadily on a new pit called Father Brown. The Takwa Mines is owned by South African mining giant Goldfields. EMP is one of the many contractors working for Goldfields on the Takwa Mines. On this concession, EMP is involved in mining, rehandling of ore, cutback operations, load and haul, exploration and grid control. In 2010, EMP won a contract to construct a tailing storage facility on the Tapa concession of Goldfields, Ghana. This contract was the first by an indigenous Ghanaian company. It was completed in record time and the dam is in operation. Following the successful execution of the Tapa tailings project, EMP in 2011 won a contract to raise the walls of an existing tailings dam at the Daman site of Goldfields, Ghana. Work on this project too has been completed. On the Daman concession of Goldfields, EMP is involved in the rehandling of all. Engineers and planners is not all about profit. We are passionate about our responsibilities towards our various stakeholders, especially the communities in which we operate. We are putting up a three-classroom block for the people of Awuna Krum in Mpoho. We are almost done with the construction of a nurse's quarters for the Takwa Government Hospital and Midwifery Training School. It is worth noting that so far, it has been a wonderful journey for EMP. The people are more than the workers. The people also has to do with the communities. What impact are we making in the communities? You know, as mining contractors, we use big trucks, we haul things, you know. So we are also very conscious, beyond the environmental considerations, of impacting the quality of lives of the people within whose area we work. Our fleet include articulated dump trucks, ADTs, rigid bodied dump trucks popularly called triple sevens, Liber and Hitachi excavators, bulldozers, graders and other heavy duty equipment. These are operated by trained local Ghanaians. Yeah well in the fleet currently now we're running at least about 20 triple sevens. We have on order another 20 coming for uh, several other projects that we're looking at. The 777 is a unique truck where it actually cuts between mining and civils. So we being a mining and a civils construction company, we would sit with the 777. Now, if we, de 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 depending on the model of the mine and the volumes being moved, we likely would increase to 785s in the future. But for now, currently we're running at least 20 777s. A triple seven today is is selling for two and a half million dollars. That's what a triple seven costs today. But it has to be matched with, let's say, 
Liber 94, which also is close to about $3 million. Yeah. We've invested in um, ADTs to the tune of about 70 pieces. One of them cost about $600,000. Some 287 kilometers north of the Liberian capital and close to the Guinean border lays the Yekepa iron mine. This concession belongs to ArcelorMittal, one of the world's leading producers of steel. Ghanaian mining contractor, engineers and planners is a contractor mining this concession for ArcelorMittal. The project started in May 2011. This contract involves mining, drill and blast, load and haul, operating the crashing plant, loading of rail wagons with ore for shipment to Europe. There are two locomotives that drive the 140 wagons. Each locomotive drives 70 wagons. One loads the ore in the morning and the other in the evening. The loading of the wagons takes place after the materials have gone through the process of being crushed into finer powder by the crushing plant. This plant is wholly manned by engineers and planners with support services from the manufacturers. A number of Ghanaian expatriates and Liberian nationals are engaged to help execute the contract. Heavy duty equipment needed for the job were procured immediately the contract was awarded. Some of these included road trucks, dump trucks, dozers and other light vehicles. They were transported by road from Accra to Yekepa. Part of the contract requirement is the transfer of knowledge and technology to the Liberian nationals through training and mentoring. So with the complement of the core staff comprising Ghanaians and Liberians, work in an existing but abandoned pit started vigorously. In the course of the period between 2011 and 2012, another pit called Area B was opened, with mining actively taking place simultaneously in both pits. Work has been progressing steadily. Safety in an industry such as mining is very critical to the sustainability of the business. Our safety mantra where safety ends, accident begins, has been very dear to our hearts. Since January 2012 to June 2012, our key performance indices in the area of safety has been great after working for 1,027,554 man hours. The statistics read, lost time injuries have been January 0, February 0, March 0, April 0, May 0, and June 0. Medically treated injuries January 0, February 0, March 0, April 0, May 1, and June 2. ultimate goal is to empower the Liberians economically which will eventually impact the development of the country after several years of civil unrest. Engineers and Planners is committed to the continent and will continue to render services that will go a long way in enhancing the growth and development of the continent. What I can say about ENP is that it is true that given the opportunity, Ghanaians can rise to the highest level of economic performance, even in areas that are difficult. I just see EMP as a model for Mother Ghana. And now we are going outside Ghana. As I said, we are in Liberia. We have been invited to Congo. We have been invited to Guinea. We have been invited to uh, Sierra Leone. I mean, when people come around, investors come around, 
who want to do due diligence on our operations and they come around and see what we do as Ghanaians, purely Ghanaians, we marvels them. Yes, um, if you, I've, I've not been scattered by looking in so many places. I've actually been focused by looking after this business. And what that means is that it gets after 12 years of, uh, 13 years of being in business, at least from the 15th year, the business would not need me. Currently, the business doesn't need me every day, but I am just there to be able to keep it straight and narrow. Engineers and planners working for the growth and development of country and continent.